Hello, I'm Pastor Zell at First English Lutheran Church in Mishawaka, Indiana. And I'm here to read a Bible story with the kids uh, from First English Lutheran Preschool. I just want to say I miss you, and I'm looking forward to seeing you again uh, when we're able to come together again. The Bible story I'm going to read to you is uh, about uh, Paul and Silas. They are disciples of Jesus. And after Jesus ascended into heaven, uh, the disciples and the apostles went all around and uh, all around the area and then uh, began to tell people about Jesus. Sometimes people didn't like to hear about Jesus. And so this is a story about that, about how God preserves them and takes care of them. So Paul and Silas go to jail. Paul and Silas were best friends. They traveled together from city to city, telling people about Jesus. One day, Paul and Silas helped a slave girl who had a bad spirit inside her. The slave girl's owners got very angry. They grabbed Paul and Silas and dragged them away. Just because they helped her. Paul and Silas stood before the city leaders. The slave girl's owner said, These men are making trouble in our city. Soon a crowd of people joined the angry men. They hit Paul and Silas with sticks and tore their clothes. Then they threw Paul and Silas in jail. Wow, look at that. The jail guards put heavy chains on Paul and Silas and locked their feet in between big blocks of wood. The guards wanted to make sure Paul and Silas couldn't escape. One of the jailers watched them very carefully. It was his job to make sure that they didn't get away. The jail cell was dark and dirty. Paul and Silas felt sore and hungry. But instead of being afraid or crying or getting mad, Paul and Silas started singing to God. They prayed and talked to God, too, late into the night. As Paul and Silas sang and prayed, the other prisoners listened. They could hardly believe their ears. They were singing joyful songs, praying to God in a place where a lot of people are forgotten. But God always hears our prayers. Suddenly, the ground began to shake and the floor began to quake. It was an earthquake. The prison doors broke open. The prisoners' chains fell off. And when the jailer heard all the noise and saw the open doors, he thought, Oh no, everyone will escape, and I'll be in big trouble. He grabbed the sword to kill himself, but Paul shouted, Don't hurt yourself. We are all here. That must have been scary for everybody. The jailer looked around. It was true. Everyone was still there. He fell to his knees and asked, What must I do to be saved? And Paul said, Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. The jailer took Paul and Silas to his home. He washed their sores and fed them dinner. Then Paul and Silas told the jailer's family, all about Jesus. And the whole family 
believed in Jesus and they were baptized. It's a wonderful Bible story. I'd like to uh, close with the Lord's Prayer. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.